In this video, we're gonna be going over how much a single tooth dental implant actually costs, what your insurance may help with, a breakdown of all the different things you're actually paying for, and then lastly, are they worth it? If you walked into a dental office with no insurance, you could expect to pay anywhere between $3,500 and $5,000 for a single tooth dental implant. I've heard of some patients paying closer to $6,000. I know what you're thinking right now. Here's a breakdown of all the different things you're paying for and why it adds up so quick. Before your provider places the implant, they're of course going to want to do an exam and take the proper images they need to make sure that you're a candidate. Now the gold standard is a 3D image and this type of radiograph or image typically costs around $350. Provider will then determine if they want to do the surgery as a guided surgery. Now if they don't want to do it guided, then you won't be affected by the cost of the guide. If your provider decides that they want it to be a guided surgery, this will probably cost anywhere between $350 and $700. Obviously, this is an added expense, but what it allows is more predictability before you actually even do the procedure. Because what the guide does is it tells us exactly where the implant needs to go to be in the best position within your bone. And it's based off of where we want the tooth to be. So we have the end in mind before we actually even do the surgery. Then of course we have the dental implant itself. Now remember the dental implant itself is just the titanium basically screw that goes down into your bone. For the dental implant, you're gonna be looking at spending anywhere between a thousand and probably 1600, maybe even $1,700 for the implant itself. Now the implant is healed and it's time to put the tooth on it. Next cost is for an abutment. So what an abutment is, is it's the connector piece that goes onto the implant that allows us to connect the tooth. The cost will vary on these based off of if it's a custom abutment, which means it's created specifically for where your implant and tooth need to be, or if it's a stock abutment, which means it's kind of a one size fits all piece that we're able to use. The stock abutments are of course cheaper, and the custom abutments are of course a little bit more expensive. So let's just say on average, you, you could expect to spend anywhere between 400 and and $1,000 for the connector piece. And then lastly, of course, the tooth. The implant crown, you could expect to spend anywhere between a thousand and maybe even $1,800 on Now I know I'm giving you some wide ranges here, but remember the prices could vary depending on what tooth you're actually working on and where you live. And that is how you get to that average number. So does insurance cover any of this? I don't necessarily want to go down the rabbit hole of dental insurance, medical insurance. There's so many different plans out there. From my experience in general, here's what they will help with. Possibly the implant, the connector piece, and possibly the tooth that goes on the implant. Here's what they may not help with. Consultation, the 3D x-ray, and the surgical guide if necessary. Now remember, there are so many different plans out there, and I would assume that the vast majority of them may not have implant coverage. But don't write them off, pun intended, because I do have some patients whose plan provides some sort of coverage and at least helps ease their financial burden in some way. Now for a patient who has insurance, who has some implant coverage, what did they end up paying for the procedure? In less than $2,500. I know the big question is, is it worth it? In my opinion, it comes down to three main things really. Number one, are you even a candidate for it? And if you are, how good of a candidate based off of your overall health, your oral health, and your bone quality? Number two, what's important to you as the patient? Are you open to spending that kind of money on a single tooth? Are you open to the time frame as far as the process between placing the implant, letting it heal, getting the tooth on there, just kind of taking all things into consideration. Number three, your confidence in your provider and what their policy is as far as if you have problems with the implant. I can't speak for other offices, but at our office, what we like to do, if we've done everything that we could to make sure we had a predictable, successful surgery, and for whatever reason, we still have problems with the implant or it fails, the last thing we want is for the patient to have spent a bunch of money and then be back in the same position. What we'll do is we will apply the majority of what they've paid towards the alternative treatment or solution to make sure we can do something for the patient without them being out that money. And if worse comes to worse and they decide they don't want to do anything, we'll reimburse them a large portion of what they've paid. Which reminds me, if you found this video helpful or if you haven't gotten anything out of it at all, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. In all seriousness, it does help. So whether you subscribe or not, thanks for your time. In one of our upcoming videos, we're going to be going over, do you even need to replace the missing tooth? And if you don't, what are some of the things that could happen? Thanks, guys.